Insegnami. Eh, finger. Ehi. Hello everybody! So the day has come and today we have the mighty Niso with us. Thank you. So I'm really happy to have Niso because you know he's the member of the band that lives the most far from here so there are not so many opportunities to meet. So why did you choose this cup? So I choose this cup because of the black background on which uh, uh, white lines and uh, gorgoglio you know, so. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to say it. Come si diceva? Arzigogolato. Yes, uh, something. Baroque, bizarre. Bizarre. Bizarre pattern. Oh, bizarre. Of, no, but of this uh, white pattern on, on it. And because Is... I find nothing better. Nothing? Better. No, you are insulting my cups. Yes. No. I am aware. Okay, so the show is over. Hi, I'm Jade from Frozen Crown. I'm a dentist during the day and a singer by night. I'm sexy, I'm cute and I love the spotlight. But what I love even more is coffee. On Instagram, I've beaten all the records for the amount of coffee pictures posted every day. They call me the espresso lady. I tried to stop her. She's just insatiable. Second question, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a fantastic red wine offered by Jade and Federico and Senza Solfiti is the best I can drink so far. <laughs> okay. The first person that says what is really drinking? Inside the cup. Because you know, wines are a culture. You know, it's, in Veneto. Yes, here in this area, close to Venice, uh, but also all over the world. And this is a special wine that comes from here, comes from Annone Veneto, and it's uh, biologic, organic, organic, and without uh, chemicals. Yes. But let's go on. <laughs> So let's start from a topic that it's really dear to your heart. Choose three drummers. I knew it. And tell me which one you would like to invite out for dinner, take lessons from, or steal his drum set. The first one is Keith Moon, my drum hero from The Who. He's the, the one who inspired me to play drums. And you would invite him for a dinner? Yes, he's the, he's the one who, uh, because of his madness uh, and the, because he was uh, very bizarre and uh, crazy, it would be nice to, to have a dinner with him. But the second... Take uh, lessons from? Takes lessons from uh, Gavin Harrison. Gavin Harrison from Porcupine Tree, or maybe and also uh, some records from Battiato uh, and uh, other Italian artists uh, all over the world. He, he has a, a very special technique. I love his sound, his precision. His, uh, very, everything about him uh, remained shocked by his power also and his uh, di use of dynamics. And, uh, what and the third is... No, no, no. <laughs> take lessons from. So you confirm that uh, yes, yes. you would take right. lessons from him and steal his drum set. Really hard question. I have to think about it. I can choose between uh, Danny Carey from Tool or uh, Mike Portnoy from uh, Dream Theater. I'm more for Danny Carey because of uh, also the tablas and the electronic pads and I choose Danny Carey for uh, stealing his drum set but he's a uh, two meters tall. If he discovers me, I'm, I would be in serious danger. <laughs> 
Okay, so the moment that everyone is waiting for. Will you be able to win this challenge? Name five Opeth songs that contains both clean and grown vocals. Three, two, one. Dropery Falls, Little Affinity, Deliverance. Um... The Moor and um, Godhead's Lament. We have a winner! I'm sorry, Iki, Federico, and Fabiola, but Niso is the best element of the band. <laughs> <laughs> and he also wore the thing inside his cup into his t-shirt for the water. joy. Only water. <laughs> Remember that you can find our official merchandise and our signed album in our official shop frozencrown.bigcartel.com Would you rather spend a day with Mike Ackerfeld or Raymond Hearn? Fede, I hate you. <laughs> uh, Why do, do you uh, think that obvious. is Fede behind this question? <laughs> because he knew that I love Hopeth and Haken too. Michael Ackerfeld is my dream uh, man. <laughs> Michele uh, is uh, it's, uh, quite easy to choose, but okay. uh, Ray Hearn is a very special person. I chat with him, uh, I ordered uh, a book of uh, drum, ah. uh, Haken drums part. Uh, yes, so we, he saw my drum cover of uh, Need My Mouth, uh, a Haken song, and he posted on his Facebook. At my first uh, Hopeth concert, when I saw Hopeth in Alcatraz uh, in Milan, I made a selfie with, uh, behind me, there was Michael Ackerfeld, who right. were signing uh, a CDs to a uh, guy, so, he, so you I take the opportunity. Yes. No, I don't know how to describe this situation. It's not like a photobombing because... It's a selfie rubato, you know? I'm messed up. But to make you happy, maybe he's with you. No, because I said, I want a photo in which there's also Michael Hacker with me. I've seen him go down to the bus tour and he's like... Then I'll send you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. The question is, why didn't you ask him for a picture directly? Because you were too busy at the time and the concert uh, was about to start. I uh, mi sono accontentato di quello. Una <laughs> giornata <laughs> a day with him uh, would be very nice and very funny, I guess. In some video he shows uh, all his personalities, fantastic. <laughs> so Mike, please, if you see this video, if you watch this video, remember that Niso is uh, waiting for his moment with you, at least a picture, please. Poi, ti spiace se la metto, ti vedi brutto. Non è molto bella questa foto. No, no, bella, bella. And of course, which yeah. is your dream team band? Dream team band. Uh, songwriting, Federico Mandelli. <laughs> yeah, allora. 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 Drum Gainer. Okay. And the vocals, Peter Gabriel. Wow. Maybe tomorrow it will be different, but. Uh, vabbè, chi se ne frega. <laughs> and the guitar, uh, Katri Govan. E. E Federico Mandelli. No. <laughs> Only one guitar, because uh, Katri Govan. Uh, is enough. Is enough. <laughs> Michael Ackerfeld alla voce. Ma c'è una vita di Gabriel. Ah si sì. <laughs> <laughs> è difficile. Allora, Gavin Harrison, Peter Gabriel. No, alle tastiere. Even keyboards. Yeah, keyboards is uh, fundamental. fundamental. <laughs> it's really hard to realize, but uh, at the keyboards uh, Thelonious Monk with a jazz piano player that I love. Dai, di Green News. Green News. No. John and Twistle by the Who. Really interesting this melting pot of cultures. Yes, and genres. Yes, 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 yes. I would have asked you to tell me three things you hate, but you look like such a nice and kind guy. <laughs> I'm sure you hardly hate something. So, which are the three things you love the most in life? You can't say drums, nor frog, nor jazz. <laughs> Listening to music. Okay. And, That's uh, allowed. When it's the moment, uh, the right moment, 
I love uh, science because uh, what you don't do or you don't say is uh, sometimes is most important of you what you do and what you say. I love silence when it's uh, the right moment. I love uh, um, also still something uh, only watching. Mm -hmm. With your eyes. Uh, yes, but also by asking uh, something, uh, know someone and his skills to improve mine, improve mine, my skills and the other, all uh, that I could, uh, I can improve in myself, uh, because uh, I guess that uh, a lot of people might uh, have uh, something, their secrets, but uh, in how they act and their attitude, you can, if it's a positive way of behave. That's really interesting because you uh, love to uh, meet new people and uh, to see what you can take from them to enrich yourself. Which was your dream job when you were a young kid? A drummer. Not a policeman, no. a firefighter, an astronaut. No. Since I remember, I always uh, wanted to be a drummer in, in my life, a professional drummer. So, some fans noticed you live in a green place with a lot of nature around. Where do you live? Can you talk to us about your house? Yes, I live in Vararo, Vararo Gang. <laughs> it's a small town um, on the Sasso del Ferro, which is a, a mountain uh, over the Lake Maggiore. And, niente, vivo... We will eat. But yeah. I know you have a really, really nice activity there. Yes, my parents. Um, my parents uh, have uh, goats and they produce uh, milk and uh, cheese and other fresh uh, products uh, like uh, yogurt and uh, also ice cream. I love how they, 20 years ago, decided to do this and uh, they always demonstrate me how to follow up purposes to do something and realize their dream. But I don't like so much... Uh, that dream. That dream. <laughs> yes, it's uh, piace fa ma non... <laughs> it's a very particular place to develop uh, creative uh, nature and uh, musical affinity also because of uh, the quiet place and uh, I play drums so there are no neighborhood so I'm fine. It's a really really nice landscape there. <laughs> yes. You mentioned your father. Of course we happen to know your father because he seems to be your number one fan. Is he also into music? Does he play some instrument? Can you tell us something about him? Yes, uh, my father but also my mother are the ones who introduced me to music and he played uh, guitar in a punk band uh, back in the 80s, late 70s. He also brought me at the Coro Arnica, that is a choral groups of people in Laveno, when I was uh, one year, two years old. The constant uh, presence of music in my life uh, when I was younger, uh, thanks to him and, and also my mother, who played the sax. <laughs> My, my groove uh, rules. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about your favorites for the fans who want to know more about you. Your favorite actor? Mm, my favorite actor? Travis Fimmel, who plays uh, Ragnar Lothbrok in Viking. Ah, okay. And your favorite country to visit? Uh, maybe some, something in the north uh, Europe, uh, mm. Sweden, Norway. Favorite pizza topping? Mm. Speckezzola. Wow! Favorite movie? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, fantastic! Since I was a kid. Me too. <laughs> and if you were a prog band, you would be? I would be Van der Graaf Generator. I don't know. They melted the obscurity and solarity in the same thing. Light years over. <laughs> Okay, I already asked Ike and Fabiola how it was for them to join Frozen Crown. A lot of people have been impressed by your very young age. And I would say I was impressed too when I heard your drum lines for the first time. How it was to join an already established band with two albums out at just 17 years old. Despite um, the young age, I was surprised, uh, but not so much uh, as uh, someone could uh, believe, because uh, I already knew your activities, I was uh, your fan before, but uh, realize uh, that uh, I am part of such a great band, uh, it was uh, more complex to <laughs> so, uh, realize it was uh, difficult. 
but um, then uh, I found myself a uh, very better place. Uh, it's nice to have a medical studio at Rabobina. I'm happy to be with you, Fede, Iki and Fabiola. And uh, I'm looking forward to play live because uh, it's more than a year uh, and yes. a half that we're waiting. Uh. Before Winter Bane, you never officially released an album. How it felt to make an entire album from nothing in just a couple of months during a pandemic and knowing that the album has been released worldwide? Before realizing the album was uh, published uh, worldwide, uh, my mindset was to give my best, write the most uh, functional drum part uh, for, the, for the music. In, in that couple of months, I cioè, mi sono messo giù, ho fatto, ho fatto disfato. Dopo ho detto... Uh, c***o! <laughs> <laughs> After I realized that uh, the album was over uh, and uh, all the songs were uh, finished uh, with the definitive version, and when I listened, I... Uh, very good feelings for me. Not, uh, mm, cioè non tanto uh, di essere il primo in, in Germania, così. Che sono su Spotify e sugli altri store, ma più che altro appunto che sì, cioè che posso dire di aver fatto un di aver fatto parte a un I asked this thing to Fabiola as well, but I'm curious to see your version of it. Make your best Federico impression. Come che era? Tu sei a casa fare cosa? Com'è quella Fede? Ma no, mica sono io quella. So, va dillo. No, io in strada a fare cose, tu a casa a fare cosa. Ma questo è un romano, cioè è tipo romano. No, dai, non lo faccio. Porca tro. Non sembra più sardo così. No, non lo so fare. Inimit so. Fede è inimitabile, ragazzi, cioè. Dai, quando ti dico dai, mi sono mai dai, dai. Dai, prova un attimo. Facciamo sta foto. Cosa? Ma no! Io ti faccio fare un. faccio vedere un fatto. Guarda sto fatto, guarda sto fatto. Che cosa? about your favorite movies The Lord of the Rings as I said before but also I like also historical movies maybe representing real facts Like me like me Federico says that I'm but, boring Yes <laughs> but I also love uh, Italian comedy of the 70s like Renato Pozzetto Fantozzi <laughs> Verdone Renato Pozzetto comes from your yes, area I, yes. I, I met him uh, because uh, he went to my house to buy some cheese Ah interesting yeah. I was uh, um, I was with my dad, uh, wood chopping. Uh, I saw that figure uh, in, in front of me, just watching. I said to my dad, uh, quello non era nato pozzetto. Mi fa, ma mi sembra di sì, lo so, vai a vedere. Vai a vedere. Allora sono andato ed era lui. I asked him to say he's famous. Io la madonna. <laughs> but did you ask him for a picture? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, you didn't miss the opportunity like you did with my no, Decker uh, Fett. No, in realtà no, non l'ho fatto la foto adesso. <gasps> no. no! I was with an ace uh, in my hand. Uh, but it was and, epic! <laughs> yes, but my phone was not in my hand. And, uh, as I can remember, uh, uh, I haven't the phone. And, uh, and uh -huh. Because it was back in 2010, oh, okay. 2011. Maybe. No, no. Ay, 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 so you told me that Travis Fimmel is your favorite actor. I never watched Vikings. I think that it's one of your favorite series. Yeah, Can you convince me in two minutes to watch it? Okay. Very handsome man with some beautiful beard. And also Federico uh, seems a meridional Viking. <laughs> See, because of the long hair and uh, and, the, and the real the behavior, real, real, real behavior also, and uh, yelling and jokes aside, it's a very nice uh, series that uh, involves uh, a lot of characters. But uh, I think that they go on with uh, other seasons uh, uh, far too long. The sixth uh, season is very boring. My uh, my non c'è più. Non è più avvincente dopo, dopo un po' non è più avvincente. Oh, okay. so the plot uh, yes. is going down. Uh... Yes, the plot is very going down. Okay. Uh, another thing is uh, a very nice uh, landscape. Uh, the cast is fantastic, uh, also well uh, laid. Uh, the battle scenes, do you remember uh, Battle of Helm? Yes, of course. There are a lot of uh, inspired uh, scenes by the, the Lord of the Rings, all classical. Uh, medieval uh, movies, but without the fantastic elements. Yes. So if you like uh, fantasy element, uh, you can find in Vikings the Nordic uh, mythology. Yes. 
that uh, it's very uh, vincente. I think you might uh, enjoy it. Oh, okay, thank you very much. So, I need from you an explanation for dummies. Can you teach me, if I had no music basics at all, what's the difference between a 4-4 time signature and a 3-4 time signature? Yes. I'll show you. Thank you. 4-4. Four, four. But the strong pulses are the two and the four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In three, four, like the valzer. One, two, three, one, two, three. You don't have to mistake the uh, three, four to the six, eight, because uh, in another episode I will uh, show you the difference between these two similar yes. friends but uh, so 3 4 uh, you can basically count uh, on the the second beat uh, is the most powerful so 1 2 3 1 2 3 every three uh, beats the music returns on the you must hear the beat okay so i have stuff to think about during the night <laughs> of course the stronger ones you're talking about like two and four when you're talking about four four is the snare yes is that right is that right you have to consider in which musical situation you are talking about because uh, uh, in jazz in jazz music the snare drum is only also the also the kick drum is only a, a comping element it's not the fundamental element because the fundamental element is uh, the hi-hat uh, with the foot uh, mm. that plays uh, on the two and the four and in the three four so uh, jazz waltz also called uh, is on the two also the swing pattern on the right so ting 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 you can say that it's casual because uh, there's no uh, definitive mechanical partner to, to follow up. We can say it's like a lead instrument rather than a rhythm instrument. Yes, but in a uh, in rock uh, situation it's uh, fundamental that you have to play two and four on the snare and the kick drum may also funky, yes. gospel. Because of uh, transposing jazz elements uh, on the rock drum set you have to consider that uh, you have to have a powerful sound uh, on uh, other frequencies uh, because uh, there are electric instruments not uh, not more uh, just piano and upright bass and mm -hmm. maybe guitar or uh, saxophone or trumpet <laughs> let's start a music talk your favorite five albums not particular order, I have to say The Who, Who's Next, 1971 rapper that changed my life. Back in my high school days, uh, Lateralus from Tool, Life Changer album. The third one, Can of Blue of Miles Davis, top album, jazz album that uh, I loved, the uh, first uh, jazz record that uh, I recorded, the track, let's see, maybe, <laughs> that, that I, I played on and that I listened. Selling England by the Pound, Genesis. And then uh, I can choose between Rust in Peace, The Immigrant, uh, or something like fusion band uh, of, in the, of the 70s, uh, like Chick Corea and, uh, and Return to Forever, something like that. Let the fans choose, <laughs> leave a comment. The interesting thing is that again, I have to say that we have an old kid here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so. Why drums? Did you ever consider to play another instrument? Drums because um, I guess that my parents noticed something in my rhythmic attitude. They wanted me to take lessons from uh, my first drum teacher, who I thank a lot, uh, and um, as uh, also the other uh, drum teacher that I have uh, right now and I, I had. Because uh, I always loved the uh, rhythmic movement uh, that gives life to the composition, even uh, if uh, maybe I am aware of it, uh, only I apologize with every guitarist and pianist uh, <laughs> out there, but uh, I play also <laughs> for fun piano and uh, guitar. And I tried the sax because of my mother, but... Um, it's so not your thing. No. At the middle school I was uh, the best uh, 
<laughs> in playing the recorder because uh, I have a teacher who was very straight and uh, he makes me love classical music. And she was on a back with flout. Bello! So aside from the drum aspect, which are the bands that change your life? Which are your favorite bands? The Who, because of my infancy. Genesis for uh, the prog aspect, then uh, Tool, Opeth, and also Miles Davis Quintet, the first one because uh, he had two quintet in the, the 50s and 70s. Mm -hmm. But also a band uh, from the albums because I wanted to be coherent with, with the, oh, top, the top five, five. Uh, life changing uh, albums and also the bands. And for what concerns drumming, which were the bands that influenced you the most? This ah, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> No, Genesis, yes, <laughs> but Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple. Wow! Tantissimo Deep Purple perché ho pure suonato col batterista questo. Ah! Wow. Yes, I played with the Ampace and I'm proud of it. Of course! <laughs> uh, Tool and Porcupine Tree. And then all the, for the jazz uh, musicianship, so I can uh, name uh, the drummer because uh, a very characteristic aspect of rock and metal, uh, also funk, uh, Latin, no, Latin not too much. Aspect is the concept of group. Of band. Yes. In jazz, there are uh, a lot of collaboration between uh, jazz masters, and that creates a great variety of uh, super groups. Jazz drummers that inspired me a lot are uh, Papa Joe Jones, Elvin Jones, Max Roach, Buddy Rich, Tony Williams, and Art Blakey. Never heard about one of those. <laughs> <laughs> In realtà è una, no? Una. Who is a better cook? Me or Federico? E beh! Jade, I'm sorry, must say Federico. <gasps> so guys, But... he prefers the carbonara to my orecchiette with cime di rapa. But I love the... Vera... Grazie. Cioè, I love the... your cime di rapa. <laughs> no, it was an unfair challenge, you know. My god, boys always love Because the most fat things. Mm, I don't know. He paid me. Do you know? Oh. È vero, va a dire che era il migliore, dai. Ok. Bene, avete finito. Ah! Buon montaggio.